What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna talk about libhooker beta, I'm gonna talk about cilio beta, I'm gonna talk about libhooker configurator. Uh, these are things that I haven't really done a dedicated video for. And uh, this is just gonna be kind of a brief over overview of some of this stuff. I will be doing more in-depth dedicated videos here soon on these things uh, to better explain you know, uh, everything there is to know about it. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys how you can install libhooker beta on your Taurine jailbroken uh, iOS device. Now for those of you that have had bad battery issues with this jailbreak, this version of libhooker should help your battery out quite a bit. So I'm going to show you guys how you can install this. Uh, so Taurine jailbreak users only. If you guys are using Uncover, this would not apply to you because you do have uh, substrate and you don't have libhooker so disregard this video if you guys are a uncover user or if you're just curious on how some of this stuff works just stick around and I'll show you now like I said I haven't really done videos on these type of things so I'm just gonna briefly overview some things and give you guys an idea of how things work uh, with the taurine jailbreak so uh, number one you're gonna want to be a part of the cilio taurine odyssey uh, Discord. This is to me the best place you can get the latest information pertaining to this jailbreak. So any kind of updates for the jailbreak or updates for some of its uh, core utilities that it uses like Procursus or Libhooker or even Cilio beta related stuff. You can find it all in this Discord and it's very important in my opinion if you guys use the Taurine jailbreak. Now I'm just going to go to the announcements section here and there's a bunch of information but I'm just going to uh, swipe up a little bit and as you can see there is an updated version right here that was announced for libhooker version 1.6.1 .1 beta 3 um, and this improves battery life so if you guys have the battery life issue i would recommend you guys to try out this version of the beta and of course with this being in discord if you guys find any kind of bugs or kind of issues with this version you can always chat about it in this discord channel as it is a community driven jailbreak and it is open sourced and that's just kind of why i like this jailbreak it's it's very modern and it's doing things in a very modern way and it's very community driven which i like i said i just really like that but uh, we're going to install this version of libhooker i'm going to show you guys how you can install a beta version of libhooker and of course you can uninstall it if you don't want to use it uh, if you guys have other issues and you want to go back you can always do that and just uninstall it but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the link up here to the GitHub uh, for Coolstar and it's the Odyssey repo. So I'm just going to click on that link. And as you can see, we are brought to uh, this version, which is beta one. Uh, we want to get to all of the other betas. And like I said, with you guys knowing how to do this, you can actually jump around from different betas uh, and try different ones out to figure out maybe one might work better for you. And of course, if you're viewing this in the future, there might be a newer beta version that you can try out. So there might be beta four or beta five or something like that. So just keep in mind, you guys can choose which beta version you want to use. It just depends on which one you select. Now we're going to go to libhooker beta just by clicking that button there. It's basically set up as a file system. So as you can see, I can back all the way up. I view code. I can go to uh, whatever folder I want here. So we want to go into libhooker beta, just like that. And then you can go to the deb files. And then here are the deb files for libhooker. As you can see, the top one there is going to be beta one, beta two, and then beta three. Now with having Zebra, and like I said, I like using Zebra. I have a full dedicated video for Zebra if you guys want to check it out to see how it all works. But I'm just going to go ahead and install this deb file using Zebra. And it's super simple. All I got to do is click on beta three view raw and then I can open this deb file in zebra and it will install it so I'm going to go ahead and do open in zebra and as you can see here is the uh, version of libhooker beta 3 that I'm going to install click on install in the upper right go ahead and open up the queue confirm it and now I am installing beta 3 I'm going to go ahead and click on done and for packages like this I like to just do a respring I, I don't know why I just like respringing my device after I install certain things and this is one of those I just like to respring uh, just to make sure that the update takes effect and now I'm going to show you guys lib hooker configurator uh, this is something I have not done a video on I will be doing a full-on dedicated video it's really quite cool so we'll go into lib hooker configurator just to just to confirm our uh, version of lib hooker and as you can see there it is version 1.6.1 beta 3 
It also shows which version of the jailbreak I'm using. I'm using Taurine 1.0.4 and I am on iOS 14.3. Uh, and this is configurator and there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it. Like I said, I'm not going to uh, dive too deep into this right now. I will do a dedicated video for this, but you can configure different tweaks and different things to use either libhooker or substrate depending on what it might run better on. Uh, so you can configure that stuff. You can configure springboard applications, daemons. You have default configuration and a bunch of other cool stuff. So libhooker configurator. Uh, is really cool to have. I'll leave the package information down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, and then I quickly wanted to talk about, uh, before I close out this video, Cilio Beta. So again, uh, Cilio Beta information you can find in the um, in the Cilio Taurine Odyssey Discord. You can find the beta information there. I'll also leave it in the description. Uh, but Cilio Beta is getting really good. It's almost on the level of Zebra. So I use Zebra just because I just like it and it's fast and it operates and works the way I want it to. Um, and the version of Cilio that comes with the Taurine jailbreak, this version here that you can see, I have two of them. Uh, this one right here is pretty, I don't know, it's just really buggy and it doesn't run that great. Uh, but the beta version is freaking cool. So if you guys are into Cilio, definitely try out uh, the beta version of Cilio. There's a ton of cool customization. Uh, as you can see, we can go in here, we can do all of our payment provider sign-ins. Uh, you have themes, you have tint color that you can change, which is really cool. So if I wanna change the tint of Cilio, I can do that. I really like that. I think that that is very, very cool. You can change the icon. Uh, there's just a, a lot of improvements to the beta version. You have you know, swipe actions and stuff like that. Like you can swipe to reinstall, uninstall. Uh, you can go to new packages, you can swipe to get. And there, there's just a plethora of other features and they're actively making Cilio much better. So if you guys wanna try out Cilio Beta, again, the information is in the description. And that's gonna be basically it for this video, guys. Just wanna to touch base on some of the Taurine jailbreak related core fundamental uh, stuff that it uses to give you guys a little bit of information. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.